Hi all, Mass Banker from Kaiser Power Electronics here. I picked up uh, a couple of these uh, Julabo uh, ED, yeah, what do you call these? Submersive uh, heating elements with uh, a circulation pump, a flotation switch for uh, water level detection, and also a PT100 sensor sitting here. Now it has uh, a setting for uh, the temperature, it's done digitally. Then there is a slope, I think, at which it should heat up. Um, and the circulation pump itself just has a uh, shaft from the motor inside here down to the pump house sitting down here. On the back side of the unit, it has two uh, small automatic uh, resettable uh, breakers. And as we can see, it's also rated for 9 amps at 230 volt AC, which also corresponds with the 2000 watt rating on the unit itself. Now, I did put the other one up here in a water bath, and the pump is quite powerful, as you can probably see on my work floor, that I filled way too much water in the container at first, and it just went over the edge. So let's try to fire it up. First we get the uh, maybe a version number because the uh, current water temperature was 23 degrees Celsius and as we can see it actually heats uh, the water pretty uh, pretty quickly and it really does uh, ensure some uh, circulation from that small uh, chef driven pump house there. The unit comes apart with just uh, two screws, uh, taking the um, whole plastic cover off here. So down here we can see the uh, small uh, flotation switch. There is the uh, motor for the uh, pump sitting here. And here we have the PT100 sensor, which is a four wire sensor. Goes up to the uh, control board here. Processor platine. We can see it's from 2005. Uh, it's controlled by a microchip um, controller there, running at 4 MHz. Has quite some uh, high quality LEDs and LED uh, sec 7 segments there. Uh, other than that, it has uh, yeah, a little programming switch for uh, programming and uh, then it says Liefer, which is uh, delivery in German. And then, yeah, down here we have some analog signal processing from the sensor. Uh, and it sees that it might be able to extend to some other uh, different kinds of um, of apparatuses uh, with different uh, yeah purposes. But this is a common platform that they might use for other as, as well. You can see it's a 230 volt unit. We have a control power or maybe the... Um, pump motor um, transformer sitting here. Other than that, there's only a couple of relays and as we did none, did not hear anything click, I'm pretty sure that the heating element is sw switched on and off by these two uh, yeah, transistors or SCRs or what they are. So yeah, pretty high quality um, unit. Had a, a bit more um, control electronics than I expected, but that's nice to see. Setting the uh, target temperature is done on these two uh, arrow buttons at the front panel here. See it's set to 50 degrees Celsius. Let's just say we want 40 instead as we are much closer to that. Say OK. OK, maybe we're closer to... Uh, let's just take body temperature. So we're four degrees from. Now maybe I could also use this to tender meat for maybe pulled pork or something. So sweet. I don't know. Overall, uh, two uh, quite nice units. Probably uh, worth a good sum of money to uh, someone. Yeah, maybe not after I drop this one. Maybe the other one. Okay, so it's starting to blink on the heating element over here, so maybe it's switching over to a pulse width uh, or turning it on and off to uh, not have such a steep 
heating curve and have a massive overshoot. So it might take a little while longer now to uh, reach the 37 degrees Celsius. But it does also indicate that it, this unit will hit the 37 degrees Celsius pretty much spot on. So that's uh, quite interesting to see. I can also see uh, I shouldn't add soap to this because, yeah, not this little bath. Then uh, I would have a regular foam bath in here in the workshop. So we're nearing, almost there. You can also see the uh, flotation switch. But despite the, there's a little uh, waves on the water from the uh, yeah, circulating water here, that's not enough to uh, get it too low. So here we are hitting target temperature. We can also notice that the heating element was really uh, turning on and off faster. So will we see 37.1? Ah, there it is. But that's still very nice. Very little overshoot for, for sure. Yeah, 37.2. So I'm sure if I took the uh, heating slope down, uh, this would... Uh, yeah, of course take a, a longer while, but... Now what if we turn it down to 36? Yeah, the heating element stops completely. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing what this unit can do and what it contains. See ya.